Hey, Charlie. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for helping us out here. So, Charlie, yesterday in reading, we worked on listening to the sounds that make up the words, and then we figured out how to put the words together to make a sentence. Yeah. So I'm wondering if you can help us through with page six in our book today. Sounds good to me. Awesome. So I'm, I'm going to that. read it aloud and see if you can figure out which word I'm reading, okay? I already figured out the first because it's got a capital and the last because it's got a period. Oh, very clever ideas. Okay. Let's sound out that first word together. Could you hold it up one more time? B ing. Yes, we hear the B the B and the E really together. And we know that what three letters say ing? I N G. I N G. Awesome. Being. Okay. So why don't you set that one back down? Being quiet. Qu. What two sounds say qu? Q and U. Q and U. In the English language, Q always is followed by a U. That's right. So we hear the qu, I, et. Good job. All right. Being quiet is, that's one of our sight words, yep, huh? right there. I, S. I, S spells is. Good job. Being quiet is a... Another sight word. Yep, that's an easy one, huh? Yeah, it's just a letter. <laughs> yep. Being quiet is a good g. It's my last option, so it's probably the right one. Yes, let's sound it out. G. G good. Good. And you knew that this was our last word because of the period, but let's sound this word out together. Choice. Ch like in Chase's name and in your name, Charlie, C and H say ch. Oi. O and I say oi. And sometimes C says s, right? Yeah, when it's followed by an E. When it's followed by an E, exactly. All right, thank you very much, Charlie. Now, guys, if you have the time and continue, can continue on through the rest of the book, that would be awesome. Thanks, guys.